The recent days showed a remarkable improvement in the relations between Belarus and the EU member states. Last week, a parliamentary delegation from Belarus visited the Czech Republic and inter alia met with the President of the Senate of the Parliament, Milan Štek. Subsequently, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Slovenia met with his Belarusian counterpart in Minsk. Slovenia and Belarus agreed on a stronger economic cooperation and more effective investment contacts. Only two weeks ago, Foreign Minister Mackey also met with his Hungarian counterpart to agree on agriculture and food processing cooperation. Poland is also advocating for better relations with Minsk. Polish Foreign Minister Waszczykowski visited Minsk last week and called for a continuation of a dialogue on the basis of respect. These examples show who are the current supporters of an intensified engagement with Belarus, the EU states and the neighborhood of Belarus. The bigger EU member states, such as Germany, France, Sweden or Spain, are not yet so active towards Belarus. The United States is also becoming more active in the Belarusian direction. Although the US still has sanctions against Belarus in power, a cautious step-by-step -step approximation has become visible recently. On Tuesday, U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense Michael Carpenter visited Minsk. He offered Minsk to appoint military attaches mutually, praised the position of Belarus and Ukraine and outlined that Belarus had no military threats. The intention behind his visit is getting clear by a closer look on his statements. Carpenter expressed that the currently discussed opening of a Russian air base on Belarusian ground would destabilize the security situation in the Baltic region. He also underlined that the U.S. was building up its presence in Belarus neighbor countries, but these actions were purely defensive. With this background, one could conclude that the U.S. is about to start a dialogue with Minsk about the questions of security. However, to make this possible, basic preconditions must be fulfilled. The U.S. is currently not only lacking the military attaché in Minsk, but also an ambassador. Masha Kazupalova for Konrad Adenauer Stiftung Belarus.